Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunday School at Home. I hope you are having an amazing Easter holidays and I hope that you were with us at the family service last week or that you watched it online. If you haven't, definitely watch it after this. Um, if you were with us, you will remember that we were celebrating Easter, weren't we? We did have some chocolate eggs, but we were mostly celebrating Jesus rising from the dead, which is super cool because it means Jesus beat death. And he invites us to his party in heaven that never ends. And it is never stopped by anything. So we're going to be thinking more about that party today and who he invites to that party. So to start with, we are going to play a game about the best party ever. We're going to play a game that's a bit like the shopping list game, if you've played that before. Where basically you say, at the best party ever, there will be something like donuts. And then the next person has to remember what you said and add one more thing and you go around in a circle. Now, if you are all by yourself, like I am, you can just pretend to be different people, which is what I'm gonna do. But if you're with your family, play it with your family. Here is how the game works. At the best party ever, there will be donuts. At the best party ever, there will be donuts and balloons. At the best party ever, there will be donuts, balloons, and barbecue chicken. At the best party ever, there'll be donuts, balloons, barbecue chicken, and all of my friends. At the best party ever, there'll be donuts and balloons and barbecue chicken and all my friends and an ice cream fountain. At the best party ever, there'll be donuts, balloons, barbecue chicken, all my friends, and, oh no, I've forgotten the last one. Over to you. Pause the video now and have a go at your very own game. See if you can get more than I could, even with three of me. The man in our story today is throwing the best party ever, but the people he's invited have some funny excuses for not coming. Here's the Bible, a special book, a special book. 
what's inside it, what's inside it. Let's take a look, let's take a look. Today's true story from the Bible is from Luke chapter 14. In today's story, Jesus is telling a story of his own to some people who thought that they were good enough to be part of God's family. Jesus is telling a parable, which is a story that has a meaning. And he wants to show these people who will really be invited to God's heavenly party. Jesus told a story about a man who was having a great big party. This was such a big party, such a posh party, that it was called a banquet. And the man got everything ready for the party. He had amazing food, amazing decorations, amazing entertainment, everything was ready. So he sent a servant to go and bring in all the people that he had invited to his party. When it was time for the party, the guests didn't arrive. They all had different reasons why they didn't come. Children, I want you to see whether you think these are good ideas or bad reasons not to come to a party. So the first one said, oh, I'm so sorry I can't come to your party. I've just bought a new field and I need to go and have a look at it. Is that a good reason not to go to this amazing party? Someone else said, oh, I'm so sorry, I've just bought 10 cows and I need to go and have a look at them. Is that a good reason not to go to this amazing party? The last one said, oh, I'm so sorry, I've just got married, so I can't come to your party. Is that a good reason? This was the best party ever, but all the people the man had invited thought they had better things to do. Do you think they made a good decision or a bad decision? Well, the man who was throwing the party didn't give up. He still wanted lots of people to enjoy his party. So he sent his um, servant to go and find some other people to come. He said, go at once into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor and the injured and the blind. And all these people came. They said, I don't have any money, but I'd love to come. I can't walk very well, but I'd love to come. I can't see anything, but I would love to come. And so all these people came to the man's party and had an amazing time. But none of the people who were originally invited came to the party. They all missed out on the, this amazing banquet. Jesus told this parable because we are all invited to his greatest party in heaven. But we all need to say yes or no to the invitation. The people in the story that said no didn't have very good reasons, did they? How do you think they would have felt to have missed out on the amazing party at the end? If we want to be at Jesus's amazing party in heaven that lasts forever, we need to say yes to the invitation. And we can do that by trusting in Jesus, by knowing that we don't deserve to be at God's party because of the things we've done, but by trusting that Jesus died so that we could be there. And then we can be with Jesus forever in heaven at the party that never ends. Hello everyone. Now, we're going to play a game. Today, we've been thinking about Jesus' never-ending party in heaven. So, we're going to play some party games. The first game we're going to play is musical statues. Have you played that one before? What's going to happen is I'm going to put some music on and we're going to dance around and enjoy the music. But, as soon as the music stops, we need to freeze in position and stay completely still. Can you do that? Let's play. You can save the day, take our sins away. That's 
it. The music stopped. Did you freeze? Are you staying completely still? Good work. Right, let's try that again. The music stopped. Did you freeze? Good work. Right, let's dance again. Super Savior to the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Look, look, and here comes Jesus. Out, out, and out of the grave. He's a death crusher. <gasps> That's it, the music stopped. Are you standing completely still? Good work. Right, this time I'm going to change the game slightly. So I'm going to play some music again, we're going to have a dance, but as soon as it stops, I want you to sit down on the floor. Can you do that? So instead of a statue, when the music stops, I want you to quickly sit down on the floor. Let's have a go. It stopped. Are you sitting down? Well done. That's really good. Let's try that one more time. That's it. The music stopped. Are you sitting down? Well done. I hope you've enjoyed playing those party games. Jesus says that we're all invited to his never-ending party in heaven. How cool is that? Now we're ready for thinking time, thinking time, thinking time. Now we're ready for thinking time. What did we learn today? When we read God's word, we should think about what it means for us, shouldn't we? So as ever, there are some questions that are going to pop up on the screen. You need to pause the video and discuss them together. We know God is always there. Now it's time to say a prayer. Stretch hands wide and give a clap. Fold them safely in your lap. We know God is always there. Now it's time to say a prayer. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that Jesus invites us to his party in heaven. And thank you that because he rose from the dead, we know that it will never, ever end. Thank you that we can come to your party even though we don't deserve to be there because of Jesus. And please help us to look forward to the day when we can be with you forever. Amen. Good morning! Today we've been learning about a seriously cool party that we're invited to. The best invitation to a party you will ever receive. To party with Jesus in heaven and to party forever and ever and ever and ever and ever with Jesus. So we're going to make an invitation and we'll draw on it what we're most looking forward to about Jesus' great party in heaven. Make sure you've got your favourite colouring in pens and a piece of um, paper to draw on and I've got some glitter. So to begin with, we're going to write something very important that Jesus has invited you to his party. So make sure that you write Jesus invites, oh, maybe get an adult to help you write. <laughs> Jesus invites you, so write your name, so I'm going to write Roselle, to the best party ever. Okay, so once you've written that, 
um, we're now going to decorate our invitation. So I'm excited for only good things to be there. So I'm going to draw with great big smiley face. Um, like that. And I'm excited for loads of fun and loads of games with Jesus and loads and loads of people. So I'm going to draw lots and lots of people. Here are all my little people. And I think there's going to be lots of dancing as well. So I'm going to try and draw some of dancing. Woohoo! It's going to be so fun. It's going to be never ending. Um, so just keep decorating it. Maybe stick on some stickers and got some glitter here. There's going to be lots of things that I can't even imagine. So that's what I'm using the glitter for. So I'm going to use some glue and do this. Do you. And then a little sprinkle. Oh, big sprinkle. <laughs> um, so there we go. We've created an invitation to a really fun looking party that Jesus has invited us to. It's so amazing. And one of the best parts is that he's asked you by name. Are you guys looking forward to the party as much as I am? So exciting. Bye.